Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be talking about a woman's exclusive. These are some Nike Dunk Lows and these are known as the Velvet Teal. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we'll be talking about a woman's exclusive. These are the Nike Dunk Low Velvet Teals. So we'll go through the overview, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled these, then conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. For those of you who followed this drop, this did actually coincide with a, another sneaker silhouette that also had the same velvet texture as well as the same color scheme, except it was an Air Max 95. I actually opted to not go for that just because I felt like the Dunk Low looked a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, as far as the entirety of this sneaker, this is completely covered in velvet, but it is in this beautiful teal color scheme, which has a nice sheen to it as well when it hits the light. So the entirety of the upper is velvet. Uh, the tongue actually is not velvet. This is just uh, a normal nylon tongue, but it does match that same teal colorway. You've got the Nike logo in white with white laces, and these are actually um, wax laces. I'm just feeling them right now. And they also give you an additional pair of wax laces in the teal colorway. So if you want more of a monochromatic look, you can definitely add these. Uh, moving along to the side panels on both the lateral and medial side, everything in its entirety is covered in that velvet colorway all the way to the back of the heel including the Nike which is almost kind of camouflage in there the interior is in a teal colorway as well but a little bit more on the metallic -y side and then we have teal for the interior insole and Nike and the swish mark logo are in white the sneaker is then completed in this just nice white tone for the midsole and then more teal on the outsole all right let's look at all those different details size and fit goes on these again this was a woman's exclusive so i am a size nine in women's i would say it's a true size on this one i do have higher chin feet so depending on whether or not you have wider flatter feet that could actually differentiate a size that may work opposite from my own since we do have different types of feet all right so now let's jump into styling again this is a really great color i feel like for the holidays especially the material velvet is usually very big for the holiday season that's when you start to kind of see velvet dresses and pants starting to pop up in stores so definitely was excited to see it in this color 
color just because I don't have a lot of velvet uh, in a teal colorway. I've tried velvet in black and brown and silver, but never teal. So I do like how this sneaker came out specifically with the texture of the velvet. For the first look, I wore a Sherling jacket in cream. And then for the bottoms, I wore just simple gray sweats. And then I tied around my waist a nice teal plaid button down shirt. And then for the second look, I wore a similar kind of color combination, the same uh, Sherling jacket and cream, but this time I layered it with a nice teal sweater, which I feel like matches perfectly. And I layered underneath that a same colored uh, plaid shirt that was a button down shirt. And then for the pants, I wore just nice black cargo pants. And final look, I wore a teal cream and darker gray, a kind of holiday festive looking sweater that also I think complemented the color scheme of the sneaker quite nicely. And I wore some corduroy pants in a chocolatey colorway. Let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you sell these? Sets up to so does love. Send me someone I can talk to. We'll share stories of our childhood memories of Christmas past. Chestnuts on an open fire and another love to make it last. We'll build stars. Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $110 and they're currently going between 130 to 150 which is pretty good for a woman's exclusive with this color scheme uh, so definitely if you didn't pick these up I just think this is a great color scheme for the holiday season specifically for the winter season all right everyone that is it for this unboxing and review if you're new to the channel and haven't hit that subscribe yet be sure to do that right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store this is Shay TV. My name's Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode. Do you know you bitch? Send this arrow straight to my